Hi, good night everyone. Tonight I'm going to introduce you to uh, Olympus Camera. Before I begin my speech, I would like to share some of my photos I took by using this camera. Oh, wow. This is Mexico. And a oh, and look at the beautiful shots of that. Wow. Delicious food. Oof. And a cute dog. <laughs> so, uh, those incredible, amazing, and interesting photos is all taken by this. You took them? Yes. Very good. <laughs> so, today I'm going to introduce this camera. It's called Olympus Pan EP3. It has the classic style and the incredible power. Why, why I choose this camera as my favorite camera? The people, uh, the people know me, uh, you should know, I have like plenty of cameras, but this one is my favorite because it is really easy to carry and uh, it is powerful, which can, which build this camera very easy to use and uh, I can always take some, I was always inspired by those functions in these cameras. And just like you see from the beginning, I, the photos I took, it looks like very professional. So let's see why I choose this camera as my favorite camera, not the other things. First, uh, round one, why not I choose a, a single lens reflex camera? This is a camera we usually see uh, used by some professional <laughs> photographer. and. Uh, I don't really like it because it's too heavy for a girl to carry it around. It's around four pounds. And uh, it is, if you want to use this kind of camera, you have to learn a lot of complicated operation system and it, it requires a lot of photographic skills. Next, let's see how EP3 play this around. Wow, it just weighs 0.8 pounds. It is really small and light. It also gives you the touch interface it means you can um, you can choose the autofocus point and then release the shadow and uh, to choose the menu just by swipe your screen huh. it is like really easy it is really and you don't have to learn a lot of like um, instruction <coughs> besides that the screen has the empty fingerprint coating it means your fingerprint will not leave on the screen uh, it'll always play. Besides that, huh? you don't have to bring you don't have to bring your own flash because a lot of like professional camera you have to bring your own flash. And the flash is just here. Yeah. Just pump out. Well, it's better than that. Yeah. <laughs> and see, and what's more, um, you don't have to learn a lot of photo uh, professional photograph skills because this camera has automatically set 23 scene select modes. So it can allow you to take photo. It, it can allow you to take uh, photos in any conditions because everything is automatic set set up in this camera. All you need is just choose probably the if you want to take the picture in night, you probably just choose the night scene. Let's see an example. I took this picture in the sunset scene. This one is under the night scene, so it is really clean and it is really pretty. Let's see. The, let's move to the round two. Round two is why I don't choose the regular digital camera. Uh, the regular digital camera like is very light, but you know, it's but it's not powerful. I d I can't use the regular one to catch anything I want. For example, if I want to catch a flying because it's too slow, the the the, the sh shutter is too slow, the autofocus is too slow. It is so hard for me to catch a uh, probably a flying bird or a running kid. And uh, if even if I catch the image, probably just the image probably is already blurred or the color is unreal. But with the EP3, EP3 has the world's baddest autofocus. It has the face de uh, detection and eyes detection and the tracking function. It means um, it, can, uh, it will guarantee when you took the picture, the people in the picture were not closed eyes when you click the click the shot. And in body image stabilization systems can give you uh, can uh, avoid blurred image. 
What's more, I like I really like the color about this camera because the color is so vivid and so fresh. It's so just incredible, amazing. Let's see. Let's move to the round three about creativity. Well, I think it is more, it is easier to take beautiful picture than creative picture because you know it is so hard to take creative picture. You need, you need to learn a lot of tips like how to set up your computer, like how to set up your camera, like up or down, like which angles, what kind of equipment you have to use. But with this camera, <coughs> this camera has 10 in camera R feeders. I will show some examples later. And uh, it has 3D shutting. It means you can take 3D photos. It's amazing. And then you, ha you have the multiplex explosion functions. It means you can combine different kind of di uh, several photos into one, and uh, I think this kind of functions is very is simply to use. And you don't uh, it's simply to use. It always can inspire my creativity by those functions. So get rid of your very heavy equipment and forget about oh, it's those Hamilton. professional. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's the transit. It's the transit. And I forget about the. Um, you know, forget about complicated skills. Just, just get your get camera. Shot. Just get this camera, and uh, you can catch any shot, no matter how fast it is, because it has the worst faster autofocus. And uh, with the autofocus, with the face and eyes, eyes autofocus, <laughs> you can avoid <laughs> closed eyes. Yeah, this is wrong, Jason, big Josh. And you can avoid uh, closed eyes. Josh was in the class. Josh. Josh. What is it? Yeah. And uh, with the ten feeder uh, art, uh, in, with, with the ten art feeders in the camera, you can you can just just it can bring up your creativity. You can use anything in the camera. It's like it looks like more like older photo, right? <coughs> flat iron, higher flat, higher yeah, flat. Right? Okay. And, uh, <laughs> this is the also part. And uh, with the most advanced. Uh, color technology, you can you can just save the color and save your memory just like the way you remember. So don't wait. With this camera, you can capture it all. Thank you very much.